Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Ricky with Shoe Monster Tech. Uh, today we're actually going to be looking at a prototype by CJRB. This is the Tigris, uh, and as you can see there, this is uh, it says prototype on it, right? Yeah, cool. Before we get in the nitty gritties and all the goodies, uh, you guys go check out my Instagram page at Shoe Monster Tech. There you go, got some cool photos. Um, and this knife here was actually passed down to me uh, through the a Black Widow Knife Pass Around Group. Very cool. Appreciate it, guys. And I appreciate CJRB for letting us check out these knives. Um, okay, so we know this is a prototype. Um, let's start with the specs on this one. Uh, the overall length is 8.5 inches. The blade length is 3.5 inches. Cutting edge, 3.5 inches. Uh, the blade width is 1.50 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches. Uh, the blade material on this is the AR uh, RPM 9. So we had the flat grind on here with the uh, blade style being a sheep's foot. Yes, very, very nice indeed. The handle is uh, 5 inches even. Uh, handle width is 1.125 inches. The handle thickness is 0 0.60 inches. Um, we do have G10 on here and uh, we do have stainless steel liners on this. And so yeah, the weight on this is not going to be—it's not going to be light, guys. It's 6.38 ounces. So yeah, it's a big knife, and it's a lot of a lot of steel here, and we have stainless steel. So yeah, this is a heavy knife for sure. This is a tip-up carry. So when you throw this in your pocket, um, if you're using that clip, that tip of the blade is going to be going in the up direction. We do have a flipper to deploy the knife. There we go, and a liner lock to close it back up, right? Yes, indeed. This does come from China and it is considered an everyday carry knife. So yeah, very, very cool. Um, let's do some size comparisons. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so you can tell it makes the pair of three look tiny. Um, let's compare it to the Pilar 3. Yep, same thing here. Makes the Pilar 3 look like a, looks, <laughs> makes it look like a smaller knife, right? The Ontario Rat 2, here we go. So yeah. Um, <laughs> it makes the uh, Ontario Rat 2 look very, very small. Um, so yeah, it is a bigger knife, guys. Uh, if I can find my Sharpie. Here's an everyday carry Sharpie. So yeah, there you go. That's a good size comparison. Let's flip it around. So yeah, it's, it's going to sit pretty deep in your pocket as well, as you can see there. Now, the MSRP, I believe, is uh, between $50 and $60, if I understand that right. I could be wrong, um, so don't hold me up to it. Now, um, like I said, this is a prototype and this knife is coming out very, very soon. Now, what are my thoughts about this knife, guys? I like it. Um, yeah, it's a heavy knife. Uh, I'm not big on knives more than, you know, 6.0 um, ounces, but this is a workhorse knife, guys. Um, this is a really, really beefy knife and I love, love, love the looks of it. Very sweet, um, no doubt. Now, the blade itself is awesome. Um, they do add some jimping up here. It's very subtle, but they do have the jimping if you can get zoomed up on that. Yeah, so very, very nice. I do like it. Honestly, um, I, I like this backspacer. I, that's one thing I did notice how the backspacer sticks out a bit. Um, it's more for the style, right? Um, they do have that angle where it's angled down towards this way. And uh, yeah, so you have a lanyard hole there. So for you lanyard junkies, uh, there you go. It definitely looks like you can fit 550 paracord through there. Very, very nice. Um, you got uh, some jimping on your backspacer there. And that's about it for the jimping goes. Now, as far as the handle goes, it is very grippy. Uh, it's very comfortable though. And you can uh, choke up on it just a little bit. It does have like a little bit of a forward finger choil there. Now, I did notice, I threw this in my pocket, carried around the house um, a bit. And this does sit, I mean, it's a heavy knife, but it sits nice. Um, I do love this, this style clip here. You got your deep carry and they did, uh, the screws are recessed, so it's not gonna be snagging on anything. So a very comfortable um, carry in the pocket, guys, with this nice pocket clip, definitely. Um, I would like to see uh, something you know done with these, uh, I believe there's a T6 uh, screws here. Maybe if they made them T8s, um, you know, less likely to strip them out but um it's not a lot of hardware you got one two on this side to take this apart to clean it um and then you got your of course your pocket clip you can take apart um that guy right there and then your pivot so um not a whole lot to take apart um if you were to you know clean this up or do whatever you got to do with it now does it drop shut yeah oh yeah it's gonna drop shut i mean it's it's a heavy it's a big blade 
Um, this big blade is definitely <laughs> gonna drop shut. The uh, the lock on here is is not bad. Uh, this is your uh, liner lock, and you do have uh, really good access to that lock bar. So there you go. Um, very very easy easy to do, right? So um, as far as the flipper goes, yeah, I like it. Um, it's not sticking out too too much. I kind of wish they had some uh, added a thumb stud or maybe some kind of a thumb hole there because um, then you could actually really full, you know slow roll it I still can without it I can actually just put pressure on that blade not too much pressure and just slow roll it uh, so that's very nice but the flipper yeah it does real well no jumping on it but I think it's just you know the way they've got it angled it's kind of just press it down and it, and it comes out very easily guys so yeah I do like that um, I know this is a prototype uh, the blade is almost centered it looks like it's it's a little on the show side not bad so yeah, I'm totally digging it. Um, you know, I would definitely recommend this knife if you like guys like big knives, um, if you got big hands. Um, yeah, totally cool. A little on the heavy side for me, but you know, overall, I think this is a <laughs> this is a great knife, guys. Um, I definitely think it's it's worth the uh, more closer probably the fifty dollar range. So what do you guys think about this prototype? Uh, do you guys like it? Do you like the size of the knife? Yeah, I appreciate you watching. Smash that like button. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. All right, bye.